Hey you, welcome to the I Feel You podcast presented by Project Feel. I am your host, Eddie Wise, and this is season two. As most of you may know, we do two versions of this podcast. There's audio, so you find that on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google, everywhere podcasts are found. And we also have very special visual versions on our YouTube. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to our Patreon. You get some pretty cool perks, such as getting these episodes two weeks early. So again, thank you so much for watching and enjoy the episode. I am the new host of the <laughs> I Feel You podcast. I'm Nikola Djordjevic. That's Serbian as fuck. And for my first guest today, it's going to be the one, the only, <laughs> Eddie Wise, also known as Hector Sanchez. Also Boy, known as the former anymore. host of the podcast. Huh? Yeah, you don't do this anymore. Yeah, I, I don't. Good who did you? Yeah, you gotta, not gotta anymore. Do better things. I retired. Yeah, that's, I thought, that's a good I way thought, how many episodes? I thought like, you, you know, few seasons, though. I think like 18 episodes is probably enough. I was yeah. like, yeah, pass yeah, like, it on. I don't do this anymore. Fuck that. I mean, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. You can cuss. It's okay. I can't. I? Yeah. <laughs> right. This is my podcast. <laughs> yes, you can do whatever you want, dude. This is your podcast, bro. <laughs> you literally do whatever you want. Um, sweet. Now, now, um, I don't want to let down. You know what? What you do? I feel like you you sanctioned conversations into discussion topics real mm-hmm. well with your podcast so i want to try to do that by using big words you know and not look like a like a big idiot um but i mean let me just yes because I, I i have so many questions first of all we're we're in the new um estate Cri- oh yeah the crib oh my gosh the this estate. is a, this is by the time this episode comes out which will be Next week, yeah. Mm. Next week on Patreon, and then two weeks after that, we'll be already like settled in. Everybody's pretty much gonna know about it, I think. Um, but yeah, this is the first thing we're filming in this crib in the new in the new house. Um, we are retiring El Boyo's Castle. <sighs> Sadly, um, very very sad. Uh, it's honestly a heartbreaker. Um, we love we've lived there for five years. Joe lived there for five years. I I was there for four, and. Um, and we are now moving into the El Boyo's estate. That's nuts, dude. I, I can't even believe. Just because, like, and you know what? Going to the castle, mm-hmm. I, I see the stuff on the walls and just the memories and ev- everything that's on there. And I'm sure everybody on the podcast has seen it as well. Right. You know, it's just, it's it's you guys, you know. And just yeah. hacking that up is is moving it out it's gonna be so, so have you have you started oh, the process of, of taking things off the house how's, how's um so it's been hard because um we it's like we have a bunch of <laughs> like me and me and joe joe's already gone um joe is in orlando in orlando florida uh, on vacation oh. um yeah he's leaving new york no, i'm kidding um <laughs> and then i'm going on vacation thursday to orlando holy shit <laughs> and then i'm back on the third joe's back on the 30th and then franco uh, like family emergency had to go to puerto rico for three days so he's in puerto rico right now oh yeah dude um yeah so his dad yeah, yeah yeah so he's he's uh he's there so it's been like super hard to get anything organized and also we were supposed to move out april 1st like our date to leave was may 31st and we found this place and we were like yeah let's just do it let's just do wow. it early we had the money too. We were like, let's just get this place, get out of this apartment. Cause we were also like, the castle was amazing. It's, yeah. It is amazing, but it's all, it also has its issues <laughs> and we're kind of sick of it. So we were like, let's just get out now, make it all, make our lives easier. Um, but in the way making our lives harder because we also were shooting two music videos. We also mm-hmm. had, um, all these trips planned and then, um, and yeah, it's just it's just been uh <laughs> wait, 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 it's been take a, it back a, to the drive. To the music videos. Yeah. What's, what Yeah, we filmed well, earlier in the month we filmed Franny's music video. Oh and my then God. we filmed a few days ago, Saturday night, we filmed Ryan's Ryan's music video. And then the Wednesday before that 
Saturday and we filmed Frenetic's music video. So we have a few. I don't. I feel like I'm. I'm allowed to say. Yeah, they're on social media. Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Um, yeah, we filmed those. I I was the director for two of them. Joe was the director or director of photography. Yeah, Franny was the director for her own music video. Mm. Um, and now I'm editing <laughs> two yeah, music I was videos. About to ask, um, <laughs> I'm editing two music videos and also um there's uh, yeah no there's there's a ton of stuff going on i also did like everything to get this house together like i just got Veri we got verizon fios which is fucking lit. no more optimum dude yeah. internet's gonna be banging make sure you get your ethernet cables and all that stuff. yeah that, verizon like, still don't trust the wi-fi like i mean I'm, i hate I, I never use it anyway but verizon um the fucking national grid con edison stuff oh, like set. bro everything's ready and we got the key early too and we're allowed to leave a little later in the old apartment because the landlord is super cool so oh. shout out to vanessa dude there's a lot going on man there's a lot going on yeah i mean which is good because yeah well, that's great it's it's a lot better than not having anything going on this know? is probably the busiest month i've ever had in my entire life damn which is feels good like yeah. I'm working a lot, just doing things constantly. Um, I mean, I guarantee you, you'll come out stronger than whatever you were a month ago. For which sure, going to be insane. You're just going to have a whole bunch of new experiences that mm -hmm. is just going to set you up for mm -hmm. continuing, you know, a more successful lifestyle. Which is, yeah, you know, I, you can obviously see the steps that you know are being taken. Yeah, so for it's sure. Like, it's from this point on, you just you mm -hmm. just keep trucking, bro. And you, it's a new opportunity, man. It's like. It's like a new opportunity for just anytime you make a drastic, my favorite thing in the world mm -hmm. is making drastic change. Oh my God. So cutting my hair, dyeing my hair, <laughs> yeah, dude. um, completely changing my appearance. Um, you know, getting something on my, on my body that's like permanent, like a tattoo, like just a slap. very, yeah, those are very exciting opportunities getting a new place like moving somewhere new mm -hmm. and it also like it, growing up I, I was very accustomed to that because my family moved house to house like every two years like kind of like a military family right um only because just we were we struggled a little bit um and my dad was always coming up with a new business um so I moved a lot and I, I think I liked that as a kid. Like I'm, I got used to that just mm -hmm. always being in a new place and I really enjoy just like changing things up kind of randomly. Um, so how many, how many room, how many, like, so when you go into a new place, how do mm -hmm. you go about like thinking about your, your room setup? You're like, do you go in thinking like, yeah, I'm not going to be here too long. You know, so I haven't, go well, no, yeah, I haven't, I haven't done that in years because I've shared a room with Joe for like two years at this point. Um, and before that, when I first came in, it was about like just uh, getting acclimated in New York, not really worrying about what my room looked like more. So what, if I had a job or not. Right. Um, and then, you know, I, like I would, uh, like I'd even pick the bed frame that I have. Joe picked it out cause we just needed beds. Um, so I've never like formed my room before i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna try my best to do this with this one just like design the room and actually settle in it um the last time i did that was in orlando when i was still living with my parents and we moved into a new house it was a really nice house mm -hmm. um and i got to the room and i was like i'm gonna just like go off on it nice. so like I, mostly so what i did was, was just like, i just painted like call of duty posters no, fuck no. Or, oh i wasn't that young yeah, yeah, yeah. well <laughs> well no i i um, I was young enough to get a chalkboard wall. That's cool. So I painted my whole room, right? Which was much more daunting than I expected. It was much more complicated. <laughs> um, and then one whole wall that was about the size of this wall, actually, um, I painted in chalkboard paint. Um, which is, and it's like covered in chalk right now. It's pretty cool. Now? It's still covered. Yeah. It's oh, like still really? covered. Like I had my friends come in and like do stuff to it. Oh, this stopped. Why did this stop? <laughs> I had my friends come in and do stuff to it. And like people just kept piling it on and piling it on. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to erase anything. I was like, Oh, this kind of looks cool. So now it's just like all drawings from like the past. Like it's been a while, like Damn. past like 10 years. Um, that's kind of nuts, bro. It's 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 a pretty cool room. Yeah, I think my little brother uses it now. Um, so that's the current house that they're still living in. It. Yeah, they're still living there. I think they're moving soon. I think my dad just bought some property. Damn. Um, I was about to say, like, I I, I remember hearing in, in one of your older podcasts that you're mm -hmm. planning on buying 
the castle like when you guys are are, are are rich enough would you buy that wall just break it down and throw that fucking house i don't know bro i bro. think that's you got to be able to we talked about we talk about we talk about you know? that a lot like we we always like we always talk about what it would look like to to make a purchase on a on a place like that like and if we i think if we get to the point where we have that kind of money because the the building <laughs> you know it's new york right it's a really good area. Has good trains. St. John's Park and St. John's Park is in front of it. They're yeah, trying to sell that place for yeah. They're trying to sell that for two point five million, um, Damn. which is insane. Um, the down payment would be like I think it's like twenty to thirty grand, um, and then you'd be paying mortgage. You pay you'd be paying like fucking ridiculous mortgage for a long time. Um, so, so that's you know that's what Vanessa's doing. She's trying to sell trying it for that. She's trying to sell it because she just she doesn't want to deal with it anymore. I think, <laughs> it's just fair. It's what, hard to be a landlord. What is wrong with the castle? Like, is there? What, it's, is there a lease? Well, is I think for lease? her personally, she just doesn't want to be a landlord in that capacity anymore because it's a lot of work. You got to deal with a lot of things, um, and I don't think it's worth it for her anymore. And that's what what I could assume. I don't know mm-hmm. exactly what's going on, but the castle itself is fine. <laughs> um, it's it's just that there you got to do a lot to upkeep here in New York and we're also like it was three boys living in that apartment and like we tore that thing up um and not and I've seen worse trust me I've seen much much worse we did a good job of taking care of it but like eventually it, there came to be a mice pro- a mouse problem so like we had mice we have mice um and mice. we never yeah we never were able to deal with it cuz we can't afford an exterminator and we couldn't afford to be out of that house. We had nowhere else to, well, we had other places, but it would be too much in our, in our lives. And then the people, and then like the, the guy, the super wasn't able to do anything. He was just patching up holes with like really shitty things oh. and they would just shoot through it and be back in the house. So like they were trying to do things, but you have to, you have to empty that house and get an exterminator in there and just like, damn really go off so so anybody that has a mouse problem for future reference um patching holes up like that is bullshit it the doesn't work the best method is shatter glass oh where shit. they're coming from i oh, guarantee you that what? will work i've done it before it works yeah that's I'm, so and smart coming from like like i've tried poisons traps yeah. traps are trash shoot, traps do nothing shoot anything bro traps they'll do nothing shoot through anything mm-hmm. shatter glass down there i guarantee you wow yeah that it, they won't come back. That's actually so fucking smart. <laughs> it's it's and it, it sucks because like people had like I know so many people that have like yeah. these type of problems and I'm yeah. like bro you just gotta like yeah. just get a coke bottle and just, <laughs> you know, like run into where he's come from that's such a hole, that's, just like it like make it make it hell for them. That's know? such a good solution. Just I wish we knew that. Yeah, I mean well, now you do. So they have God forbid they haven't been active in a while so that's good. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm we're out, so like, fuck it. But yeah, who the fuck cares? <laughs> who cares, bro? There's someone else's problem now, or whoever's yeah. gonna buy the house. It's it's. They're gonna have to do so much to. I mean, I think, uh, I think, yeah. Van, uh, uh, Vanessa asked us to leave because they want to actually renovate it before, before uh, they sell it. So. Damn. So yeah, but I mean, enough well, about the house. What if you see it after it's renovated and you're like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what's gonna like, happen. But like it's insane because I feel like people go through this like method of where like they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna sell it and then they renovate it and they're like, damn, I can make twelve thousand dollars a month by you know having these two apartments rented out for six thousand, you know, instead of like it's just you know people yeah. people make decisions off whim. It's I mean it's, uh, it's you know stuff. we'll see. You never know because they they don't even we don't even know if it's gonna be sold. Man. I think it'd be sitting there forever. And nobody, nobody could buy it. So, there people. It's not really like the market is pretty tough right now. So, we'll hmm. see. It'd be fun sure. to see. Um, mm-hmm. another question I have for you, because mm-hmm. obviously, you know, before I became the host, I had to do my research. You know, listen, listen to a couple of the podcasts. <laughs> um, I heard that you don't like some of the songs that you have out right now. Oh, not that you don't like it, but like, oh, yes, I did say that on the podcast. Yeah, I did say that on the podcast. You know, and I'm like, bro. Yeah, I mean that's it's completely understandable. Like mm-hmm. I, 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 I have art where I like I oh, yeah, love sure. to watch it burn. 
I just, <laughs> I'd be like, I don't even know why I made this, bro. Like, this is awful. Yeah. I, I'm tempted every day to just delete things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. Um, which, you know, the internet lets you do. But. Which is crazy. So, like, do you have, you, you have stuff now that you're, yeah. like, hype about that you're going to go? Yeah, if I had to give, like, a, an honest, like, an honest answer about like the the music that i have out already mm -hmm. it's it was made it was all made in a very short amount of time um it was kind of random that i decided to start rapping and like maybe making music was that um, like before revival yeah yeah it was you before revival like, um, i know you were, you were doing yeah it was for the cypher this it was for the cypher um that was released through project feel with um current and uh, Jason and Chris and Franco and, and Brandon. Um, Sadie too. Yeah. It, it was like we just, it was a moment where I just decided to like write for this thing and, and it worked out. Um, I liked, it was fun. I liked it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was good too. And I found out that, yeah, I found that I was like, I had something. Um, and then like we came up with the idea for Revival, um, me and Christine. Um, and Christine was kind of the one to be like maybe we can do this so that you can you know have a an outlet to to maybe do some more um and i was like yeah sure, that sounds fun and then you know it happened within like half a year and that's not a lot of time to no, make music and i good, think i dude. started making the songs like maybe two months before revival actually happened and that was um, you had like some help from from Franco. Yeah, from Franco was the producer for, and for, and for... There's a whole bunch of people, you know. Two of the tracks, yeah. And then, yeah, Brandon sent me that track like a week before Revival. Wow. Yeah, the one that I did, the first song that I did. Um, and it just, I was like, okay, cool. I was going to do two songs. Um, but yeah, it was all very short. So, like, I didn't have much time to, like, work on it, work mm -hmm. on it, you know? And... Um, Jesus Christ. But I was okay with it. I was kind of like, whatever. Like, fuck it. Like just put it out there i know my friends have a problem with like holding on to tracks and like never wanting to release them because they want them to be perfect mm -hmm. um and i didn't want to do that i just wanted to like drop things yeah and you know this is the this is kind of the the other side of that coin is like there's a reason why they don't want to drop it when they have a really good track is because when it's out they they want to be able to like love it you know yeah. um but it's you know people enjoy it so like i'm cool with it being out there and I have like honest critiques of them. Like I wish there were things that th that were different. Like I wish there were moments that weren't included in certain songs and things like that. But you know, it's out there. I'm just gonna let it be for now. I mean, it is what it is. Bro, I'm, to be honest, I mean, six months. You know, you just that's yeah. I mean, I mean, it, in in the scheme of things, it's it's not long at all. You yeah, know? it's not, it's especially for like three different three songs. songs. And then that, that you're thinking about. You know, essentially music videos, and not only that, as you're you were in charge of. Revival, I was direct. Yeah. It was a director of photography. I was one of the leads for that. Yeah. So, you know, throughout the whole process, I was like pretty heavily involved with like the equipment, what deciding what um, the style, the visual style was going to be, um, in terms of the shooting aspect of it. You know, luckily we have a massive team, so I didn't have to do like too much on my own, but. No, you were definitely... It was, yeah, it was a big part of it, you yeah. know? And it was that was the other hat that I had to wear at the same time while also um, coming up with the... It was initially, it was going to be... I don't know if I said this already, but initially it was going to be um, eight artists. Yeah. And um, it was going to be eight. It was going to be four, me four alone. women, four men. I don't know men. if you've said it on the podcast, mm -hmm. but you've definitely... You had, like... I remember seeing the cypher, and I was like, damn, bro. Like, oh, this yeah. is going to be insane, mm -hmm. you know? Like, they... Like, first of all, I didn't know half the artists, because I think a couple of them were from Florida as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. um, just haven't gotten to meet them yet. Mm -hmm. But when it came to day of shooting, we were like, yeah, we got, like, four people. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was going to be four women, four, four men, um, or, you know... Um, and then it was going to be... Um, we were going to do a photo shoot with everyone, like do a men's photo shoot and a women's photo shoot. Um, and it was going to be kind of like themed around that. And then it eventually it came down to six and then we had some more conversations and talking about how many days it was going to take. Mm -hmm. And then we brought it down to four just to make it super easy. Um, we, I think it was going to be five at some point, but then somebody canceled. Um, and then, then it was just four and it worked out that it was just four cause nice. Christ almighty, dude, yeah, I can't imagine. I, 
It was, was too PR, full. It right. was <laughs> it's PA, PA. PA. Oh, what the fuck's PR? Oh, that's PR is pr- uh, uh, pr- uh, press relations. Oh, PR is like press stuff. Yeah. What was P- that? PA is production assistant. Yeah. What was that? What um, when you're in college and you're in a dorm, you have a. Oh, um, that person that that kind of like yeah. runs the. That's not a PR, is it? No. No. Is um, it? it's fuck. Someone's watching this. And they're like, it's a, it's a. I didn't go to college, so I wouldn't know. Yeah, neither did uh, I. Mean, I went to college, but I, I didn't dorm, so. Um, I don't have it. Yeah, I didn't have a dorm either. Um, Forrest was was that person. He was that person. He was that person. I'm, it's it's. Fuck. Um, um, think about that while we. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Anyway. Um, and you want to tell so me funny. what it's like, uh, cause obviously from, from my point of view, from a, uh, what was it? RA? No, PA. 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 Um, <laughs> RA. RA. Oh, maybe it is RA. Maybe RA was the one. It's for, for the college. For the <laughs> it might be an RA sounds right. <laughs> RA sounds right. That's funny. Um, <laughs> no, it's our resident, resident manager. No, fuck dude. What that? Anyway, <laughs> um, you made it look pretty easy. Mm. Uh, I mean, I, and I know it wasn't, but with, with setting everything up mm-hmm. and obviously the experience of, mm-hmm. of constantly like filming, directing, how would you say um, filming Revival was compared to filming Ryan's music video mm. and yeah. Friends, you know? Was was there a difference? Did you feel like maybe it was it was a smoother operation now because it was mm-hmm. you know a different setting entirely or yeah what's what's your what's your take on that was that easier or harder? It's a good question. Um, it's it really just dis- it really depends on how much work you put in before and after um, that makes the job day of easier. Mm-hmm. Um, it it's just organization. So like with revival um we had a a massive team we had a few different leads of different parts of the production different um branches of the production um so we had set design you know we had the artist relations we had general product product uh, project management Mm -hmm. um we had location like we had these different things and it really is just about communicating properly with them so with as a dp i knew my job was to gather the equipment um decide what we were going to be using for the equipment list, what kind of gear we were going to be, um, what kind of gear we were going to, we were going to be renting to make our lives easier. Um, and then, um, what do you usually rent? Like what's, what's the, depends. Like what's, yeah, Yeah, we own this camera. Um, we have another EOS R that's rare's camera. Um, we have, um, a few batteries, uh, some of, we have a V mount battery. That's basically like just like an external battery that makes your camera last a long time. Um, we have, you know, cables here and there. Um, what I rented for that shoot was, uh, something called a decimator, which is a funny name. A decimator? Well, it's called a decimator. It sounds, and it, it sounds like a weapon. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, lo- I love it. It's like a r- little red box. Um, and that was like our first, uh, village basically. So what a village is, you know what a village is on no, set? On set, a village is where the director's monitor is. So the monitor for, uh, overlooking the... Um, overseeing the actual filming of everything, you know where the director's chairs are, and there's sometimes people sitting around watching the monitors. Yeah, I remember um, your, your 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 gig at Revival. That was yeah. that was the vi- that was the village that little setup, hmm. and that decimator was the key. So basically, the monitor would run into the decimator, and then all of the cameras using SDI um, cables that were run through adapters and then into the camera were all plugged into that decimator, and then it was feeding the live. Um, input and it was outputting it to those mo- the monitor that I had towards the back so that I could be for, far enough away that I had that I could use light sources without interrupting the lighting scheme um, but also still be able to watch over everything to make sure that we're getting the proper shots make sure that we're getting the angles that we want and make sure that we have coverage of everything that we need for editing later on wow. um, so that was most of the renting um, and then we rented some like some gear to like hold the cameras um, and Luckily, it wasn't like a long list, um, mm-hmm. but it does get expensive. But my job was like finding those those types of gear, talking to the team about the gear that we want to get, and then setting up the rentals to pick them up and to drop them off 
uh, a few days later, which is honestly the most grueling part. Um, but it's similar for every shoe. So like for Ryan's, like we talked about the, the concept, we set up what we wanted it to look like. We talked about laying out everything. Cause in that role I was director for talk, I was director. So like I was really pretty much running everything on that project and it was right. just me and Ryan. Um, and then we, um, you know, you lay out everything and then the same rental process happens. You decide what you want to rent, mm -hmm. you pick it up. I had to, dr I had to go all the way to the upper West side to pick up and drop off the thing. Um, and it was just one monitor for the village. Worth it. Um, definitely worth it. Cause then basically you just have it, a wireless transmitter going to the camera or going to the monitor from the camera and you mm -hmm. can view the shot from anywhere. So like they were doing a shot inside and I was on the roof with the monitor watching over what they were doing and like calling wow. in to give notes wow. and stuff. So it, it really is just about organization before hmm. and doing as much as you can before you get to the day so that on the day you're just focused on the creation of it. Like you're just focused on the creativity. That's the most fun that happens when you're just doing it. All of the hard shit, all of the really hard shit happens um, before the shoot. And then on the day, it's just about having fun and yeah. making sure you check off all your boxes. Okay. Um, and you know, it's a lot of stress and a lot of pressure leading up to it. But then when you're there, it's like, it's like, it's just so much fun. If everything's going well, do you, you know what I'm do saying? Do you feel like it's stress and, stress and pressure leading up to it? Or do you, do you feel like you enjoy that process? I think I manage stress pretty well. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't, I'm not the best. I'm getting much better at managing my time. Um, and I've always been good at managing my stress. Like even if I'm not doing everything that I need to be doing before, I'm really good at managing stress, which is not a great thing. Like I think stress kind of pushes you to do more so that you're less stressed, but my stress, I'm like, I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so yeah. I, I deal with stress pretty well, but now I'm learning to do time, more time, time management and more organization before shoots. And that's bringing down my stress even lower. So like, I definitely feel the pressure of doing a lot of things at the same time after mm -hmm. a while, but as long as I'm doing things, like I'm totally, like I'm fine, you know? Yeah. yeah I mean, it, it, with, with the right amount of management of, mm -hmm. of stress, mm -hmm. you know, patience, anger, you know, all that mm -hmm. stuff, having, having, a, having control over that is yeah. actually going to be able to, to really just fire all cylinders, you know, which it does, it does a lot for sick, you, you know? It's yeah, it does a lot for you, and it, it just it leads to more it leads to more cre creativity. Like it just better living too. Yeah, it, just, it, it bleeds into other life. It sustains aspects. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Fuck, that that whole last sentence got me fucked up. I was trying to. I had, I had a sick question. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> what a sick question. I had a sick question. I can't wait to um, hear it. That's okay. I I know what it is. <laughs> So, with um, directing mm -hmm. all, all of these music videos and stuff, mm -hmm. does it go under your name as in, like, or is it a project feel? Yeah. Like, you know. Depends. Uh, assignment, is it? So, typically, if I'm the, if I'm directing, like, it'll be, I'm the director, right? If I'm, or, I'm or, usually organizing everything. If it's a music video, it's usually, like, a smaller team that goes to to do that music video as opposed to the whole team. Mm -hmm. So like for Ryan's, I was the director and pretty much did most of it until the day of, and then I had more help. Um, and that will be directed by, but project feel, um, funds most of our projects. Okay. So they'll give us the budget to, mm -hmm. to do these videos, to do the rentals, to, um, even buy the, the, the beer that was there that night. So like, the the whole pretty much everything pretty yeah, much everything yeah, yeah. Uh, if we're doing a location project field would pay for the location as well like we they they give us a budget that works for their uh what they have and then also um you know we we negotiate in terms of what we need so project field funds like pretty much everything so they sponsor the videos they produce the videos right um so they are the production team behind all the videos even if it's just me directing and nobody else is involved right. they are the, they are producing the video yeah hmm. um and even if they they don't give funds this has always been since the beginning like we if project field hasn't always had the ability to do that kind of stuff yeah. um so even before when they were just like offering like you know help in terms of like gear that we had already purchased like we would still always put project field on it because that you know we rep 
This I mean, yeah, rep, so that's, that's you guys. You but now it's like, you know, now project feels like paying dividends, which is really cool. And like doing a lot for us, um, in terms of our creativity, like we're just doing everything. Yeah. I feel like now in time, like project feel mm-hmm. has, has gained uh, a buttload of momentum. I feel yeah. like it's just constantly, mm-hmm. uh, getting, getting I agree. a lot more a lot more word of mouth and mm-hmm. you know even, even now just like speaking about it in like third person yeah really gives it that whole uh you know its own entity yeah which is which is you know it's it's kind of like having a baby you know <laughs> you, it's it's your little it's, yeah it's you want to see it grow and mm-hmm. flourish and all this good stuff um we've been working at it for a while too so, so cool. how, what do you feel like has changed now do you feel like it's it's a whole bunch of aspects of like, you know, the word of mouth, um, mm-hmm. getting to know the whole uh, Safe and Sound Studios and, <laughs> uh, you know, just what kind of, you know, In terms of our is, but, momentum, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's changed now? I feel like. Like, do you, do you, ooh, shit. It's hard to do say. you feel like, like, do you, do you feel the momentum? Do you feel like people are? Oh yeah, out for sure. More? Do you yeah, like yeah. People are noticing. People are recognizing and stuff. I mean, sometimes Anthony's doing gigs that we don't even hear hear about because <laughs> Project Feels like yeah, Project Feels are people are reaching out to Project Feel pretty often to to create content, um, and that's pretty cool. Like you know, working with Frenetic, um, who we've been admiring for so long now, mm-hmm. uh, to do a music video for them was like was like really cool. Like. He's such a dope guy. Um, and yeah, I've been admiring his work for a long time. And just that alone, just being able to do that project with him, it just show, goes to show the growth. Like, I think it's very minimal when, when we do feel it. Like, I think about it every day. I think, like, you know, Project Feel is doing really well right now. Um, and we're doing a lot of projects and it feels that way. But, you know, we're not, it's still not to the point where we're like, you know, reaching insane levels you know oh, it's like yeah. it, you won't really see everything and how far you've grown um until um until you get to a point where you feel like there's like a milestone you know so we haven't reached like what was your last milestone our last milestone for project feel was probably <laughs> it's so funny to say it because it's such a simple thing but on tiktok the did you see the spongebob tiktok so we did a SpongeBob party for friends. Uh, yeah, it was there. <laughs> Birthday, yeah. Um, but the the, did, did you the TikTok though? Yeah. Huh? No, I didn't. I didn't. It has like an, over a million views on 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 the TikTok now. <laughs> yeah. So like we okay. the TikTok the Project Field TikTok grew to, I think it has more than the Instagram at this point now. Oh wow. Like over two K followers within like a few days. Holy shit, dude! So that was a big one, yeah. and it was so simple. But what's happening now, which is cool, is that like we're able to post things on our tiktok and every video that we're posting now is getting like four or five hundred views which oh, is great right. because we're posting our music videos there yeah. um and even if there's not a lot of engagement that's still more engagement than we had before and that's that's really important to see that like incremental growth it also pushes our team to do more creative things for those kind of platforms to push it even further um it was probably the most recent like big mouse and that was super simple but also really fun to see because it was just like every day people were like yo it has 500k it has six seven and it was like a, a day that passed and it was like has anybody seen that we have over a million on That's tiktok like insane. that we even noticed it was pretty fun um but, but then yeah yeah it, yeah it just goes to show that it's mm-hmm. it's you know, in the in the purest of forms, like yeah. well, you, it's not something that you want direct in. It's not something that you know you guys had set up. It was yeah. you know, this is something that you know at, you guys normally do at your parties. You know, you'll yeah. set the bathroom phone up, and mm-hmm. everybody's gonna go in there and you know just have their opinion. Um, but I think it's good because I think you mentioned in a in a prior podcast that only the Patreons got to see first. Um, that. It's it's like so insane what TikTok is doing for, oh, yeah. for projects like mm-hmm. Project Feel and um, just other other big other creatives and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it it's, is nuts. It's like I the, it, it gives mm-hmm. it it makes me want to like yo this is <laughs> you guys you know make it look easy. It's mm-hmm. it's essentially just up to the point where it's like consistent you know content. Mm-hmm. And it's like 
it's you, you and you guys are walking proof of it you know and yeah. it's not only that but it's consistent good content you know you, <laughs> appreciate that yeah. top quality top quality <laughs> um appreciate that so when when you you know put that together with mm-hmm. something that that you know is a wildfire start like tiktok tiktok is insane you know, with that stuff, it's only man. a matter of time bro it's a matter it's TikTok only a matter nuts. of time until someone, someone's gonna see that and some dude is gonna be like oh that video was funny and hit your page and yeah. and, and, and see music videos <laughs> and just it's just a matter of time yeah we're it really does take like a few views you know like to to really start something that's why i'm taking um, over so, the podcast yeah yeah it's too big <laughs> TikTok's famous now. <laughs> so I had to, I have to give up and just like focus on being on, on TikTok now. Do you guys have a, a TikTok person? Is it Sarah? Yeah, Sarah yeah. runs the TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> just, she's she just she always wanted to. And she, yeah, I bet she, she did. Yeah, she was. Uh, yeah, I, bet I don't she's know. Like I, flipping out at the whole million thing. Yeah, no, she was she was having fun with it. And she's been creating you know the TikTok content for a little while now, so and it's been yeah. it's been pretty good. So she um, she got oh my god. She yeah. was the first one that like <laughs> she was be- before TikTok was even like like TikTok TikTok. Mm-hmm, I mm-hmm. feel like she was on that like for a minute doing her dances, bro. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> I'm, over, I'm like I'm flaming you, Sarah. I'm sorry. This is it is what yeah, it she is. jokes around all the time that she's gonna like steal the Project Field TikTok now and just make it hers. And I'm like, yeah, that's, just, that'd be I fair. Mean, <laughs> she could if she really wanted. If she really wanted moves, to the dance moves. I mean, but also, have you seen the videos of uh, I don't know what her name is. That girl that was really big on TikTok for the dances and then got too big and and did not like any of the backlash from being you know like a sim. 17 year old with a million I don't, followers. I mean, there's numbers. a ton of them, but I don't remember it's, if the specific it's like the one. the main chick. Like, the main chick at TikTok. I don't know. I know there was a, someone named Addison Ray. Maybe it was Addison um, Ray. I'm not sure. But everybody, every, I feel like she was on all interviews. And then there was all like. All stations. Just I think talking. I know what you're talking about. I mean, it, in my head right now, I can only imagine. Like, what I'm imagining is like an amalgamation of every TikTok dancer I've ever seen. Yeah. But they all kind of look the same, so. Um, yeah, yeah, bro. It's kind all of the, the famous ones. Thing. It's a little weird. It's weird um, as fuck. I yeah. Can't, I feel mm. like this generation recently has been like, like I think that girl and then like Bella Delphine. Oh, that one's and, weird. And, I don't and even then Bella talk about Porsche and, and then Valkyrie yeah. and stuff. Like they all have like, I feel like the same face. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's it's kind of wild. <laughs> and I get it. It's like, okay, yeah, they, it's probably what is, you know, it's, it's, attracting like so many you know there's a audience, there's an internet but, yeah there's an internet face that garners more attention than other internet faces yeah, like it's, it's easier it's like for the e-girl face yeah right? it's the e-girl thing yeah it's, it's like uh, you could you could tell there's a specific vibe like that the audiences are really enjoying so i and mean i'm not hating on it i think it's no great. for sure it's no, it's just like, let them do what it's kind of it's kind of obvious you but know which is fine like, damn it's these, cool these guys are thirsty bro <laughs> I mean, like the uh, bro, you look at insane. you looking at Twitch and YouTube. The audience is it's typically oh well, Twitch specifically, it's mostly men. Yeah, because so like, and then it's all live. You like, know, you say it there, and then like, obviously, you know, it, it goes up fast because there's hundreds of thousands of people like watching yeah. at once. Mm-hmm. But you know, at one point, some dude says some weird shit, and it doesn't go up immediately, <laughs> and everybody's just reading that comment, and you're just like, dude, this is. I wonder if she's reading this comment. I yeah, probably. She, probably, you know, she like, probably is. Dude, the internet is a crazy place. I yeah. like I I watch Twitch streams a lot and I watch YouTube streams a lot and I have like very um I've seen a lot of things on the internet. It's just weird motherfuckers on and, the internet. Bro. Yeah, and just, after, and doing the Twitch streaming thing, which I'm gonna get back to. I'm gonna start streaming again. I just have to figure this shit out first so, with like moving. I gotta ask. But um bro, yeah. How, what do, how do you think Project Field would do with uh with all those weird ass oh i have no know, idea it's gonna be common interesting because like, i'm sure after a certain point you're just gonna have some crazy motherfuckers i mean i'm, I'm sure, sure on the on, on the shit, one million you know? tiktok video i think there's like a bunch of comments that are like kind of weird um because i got a lot of comments like yeah. it, you know some cool ones like the ones that get upvoted are pretty cool but like you scroll to the bottom and you see some real weird shit <laughs> <laughs> Like, people are weird. Yo, even on, like, famous people's Instagrams and stuff, it, yeah. mostly when you go to comments, there's, like, one or two at the top, maybe three that are, like, from other famous people and their comments that get upvoted. Yeah. And then you scroll to the bottom, and it's just a bunch of pages promoting shit. 
Like, have you ever seen that? I have. Have you ever seen that? It's like promoting, like, go to this page. It's like, oh, you won't click this page. Oh, look at my sexy face on this page. Like, oh, my, oh those. weird shit. Like, the bots. Yeah, like, those promotions. Yeah. And then there are some people that are actually promoting stuff there, which is weird. Like, listen to my music. And I'm yeah, like, which sucks. I'm like, this bro, is really odd. Like, you're going to see just, bots promoting, like, their fucking complicity. Nobody's going to click on, your shit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And and it's going to be, oh, my God. Nobody's going to click your shit, which is, it's, it's, um, I don't know. The internet's a weird place, man. I don't, yeah, and then the whole like Twitter arguing and just like arguing yeah, dude, I, 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 I love arguing on Twitter. Bro, it's <laughs> insane though. But like, okay, since you people like, take it mad serious, I, yeah, but, people take it so seriously. Yeah. I think it's probably like one of the most like it's fun as fuck. It's I don't. So I wouldn't say it's cringe, but like. Yeah. Being in it is probably a lot more fun, but like reading it from the outside, I'm like, bro, y'all don't even know each other, bro. Yeah, it's super, <laughs> like, it's super and wild. And then you're not even gonna think about it for the rest of your life. Like, it's like, you're not gonna be like, yo, fucking black guy 77. Yeah. <laughs> really, really did me dirty, bro. Like, he yeah, said some wild beef. shit to me, bro. Like, yeah. Nah. That's, it kind of dies pretty quick. Yeah, but you've recently. Um, didn't you have like some weird shit happen on Twitter where like people blew up on you? On, oh on, yeah, it was super wild. wild. I like so there is a TikTok, um, where this person. It was funny because I I watched the TikTok and the guy who makes those TikToks, he's actually somebody from Orlando that I have a friend who knows him personally. <laughs> um, <laughs> Everybody's from fucking Orlando. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but he lives that? in New York now, which is funny. okay. But he <laughs> does TikToks where he just goes up to people and he goes, uh, "Bop or flop," I think is what it's called. Okay. And he'll just say "bop or flop," like you know, he'll say like a Kim Kardashian or whatever, or he'll go American government or oh, okay. uh, this, and he'll just they'll they'll say like "bop or flop." And then they'll give their like short little like one sentence reason as to why. And there's this girl, you know, I don't even, I don't know her. I don't know anybody that's all involved. It was, it wasn't even her posting the video. It wasn't even a guy posting the video. It was just some random account that posted it on Twitter it was a third to party. get like, it was some random shit. Um, so the, the, and the girl was just like, she was giving really like basic takes that are super, um, internet friendly um that everybody fucking agrees with so like oh so like so like you know american government bad um it was like uh uh oh, slavery still exists it was the it was the um what are those other takes it was like well i mean people it was it was a lot of like friendly take like not and they were like she was super angry she can she she gave off the vibe of like i hate my life and i hate everything about it and like everything sucks and nothing is great and i'm like and my that, thought was like when i was watching it i was like okay you live in america you live in new york city one of the most expensive country it was the most expensive cities in the world um you probably live a pretty cushy lifestyle if you're out here in washington square park doing tiktoks for people and just hanging out like you're probably in college um, you, you know, things are, you probably don't really understand what you're talking about to, to, to a certain degree. Um, but like on Twitter, it's like, I don't even know this person. I'm not going to say all that. Like, fuck it. Yeah, so I just yeah, gave like a really sarcastic remark. I just basically said it. like, I was just like, oh my God. Yeah. I, I love hating this, this and my life. And I love, I just, oh my God. Cause everybody under the post was like, yeah, queen. Oh my gosh. She's speaking truth. She said, oh, she said, um, America, America is a, is a, um, oh my God. America is something with a Gucci belt on some weird shit where it was like trying to equate how we're the, a really Metaphor rich country, but we're like faking it for some reason that the, like the people are poor. And I'm like, okay, I can see what you're trying to say, but the way you're saying it is really, uh, Oh, it's a third world country with a Gucci belt. That's what she said. And I was like, you, my thought was like, you don't have, you have no idea what a third world country is. First well, of all, I, if you think that America is a third world country. And then just the fact that you say the, the term third world country is offensive like yeah. you don't call impoverished countries that are developing or that haven't developed yet nobody calls them third world countries except for first world countries except for us except for rich people absolutely so i'm like okay just th that perspective alone is like okay so like i was just i just spammed like a sarcastic like, comment nah. i was like fuck it and then it like picked up because i was the first person to be like yours you, this is dumb this yeah, dumb. yeah. And so it just bro, picked up and a lot of people started arguing with like me and i was like super yeah i was like su <laughs> being super sarcastic to people i was like yo i don't know you but this is funny and people like came out with like the more nuanced takes they were like some people were a little more understanding but most people were just like mad that i commented anything uh, uh, opposite from that and i was like 
They were just like, it's oh just my God. funny. It is just hilarious. I got a lot of juju. Yeah, I got a lot of likes, and I was like, damn, that's the one thing that's gonna be on my page that has a ton of likes, isn't it? Yeah. But Twitter's so fun. <laughs> and you'd be like, this guy hates the I've government. Ar- yeah, I've argued. Oh, he loves the government. Loves the government. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a simp for the government. Um, I, a lot of people, a lot of my Twitter. Whenever I'm interacting, if I'm tweeting on Twitter a lot, it's because I'm arguing with someone, to be honest. Cause I don't tweet anything else on Twitter. I don't tweet. I just scroll because it's, fu- it's hilarious. Twitter's yeah, hilarious. Twitter's, Twitter's like wild content. so funny, dude. I, love, I fucking love Twitter. I, yeah. I, I, and then now Elon Musk owns Twitter. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Dude, that just happened. 40, yeah. 40, or 43 billion. 44, I think it was actually. Fucking I think Bozo. I got it for free on Bro. the app store. <laughs> he, and he paid $43 billion for yeah. it. Cool. What a fool. Cool. Bro, I, I saw love, that meme and I was I like, I love that meme. <laughs> So it's so smart, it's so funny oh my god so i gotta tell you a joke yeah over dude. Here. twitter man before before i forget it uh-huh. um okay so there's three oh i can't say that holy shit <laughs> um okay so there's three dwarves <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay yeah there's three dwarves <laughs> and the first dwarf <laughs> looks at his hands and he's like yo i think i've got the smallest hands in the world you know mm-hmm. the second dwarf looks at his feet and he's like, yo, I think I've got the smallest feet in the world. The third dwarf <laughs> looks at his dick and he's like, dude, oh I think I have God. the smallest dick in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so so they all take a trip to like the the Guinness World Records. Mm-hmm. You know, the headquarters. headquarters. Yeah. <laughs> Where you Head- do records. <laughs> so and the, 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 fir- the first um, dwarf goes in and comes out and he's like looking at his record. He's like, yo. I'm number one. I got the smallest hands mm. in the world. <laughs> Second guy goes in, comes back out. He's looking at the record. And he's like, Yo, I'm also number one. I got the yeah. smallest feet in the world. Oh Third guy God. goes in, comes out. He's looking at the record. And he's like, who the fuck is Hector Sanchez? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Bro, I literally had no idea where that was going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bro, I got hit with that over the weekend at bro, like, this party, this 420 fuck? party, bro. So and terrible. me being the new guy there, it was just, oof. oh my god, bro. Dude. I I was in tears. I was in tears. God, and you can only so... imagine. I'm like beyond smack. I literally, I didn't see and where that, that was gonna yeah, go. Yeah, right? I had no idea where that was headed. I, but was, I was so hype. Oh my god, I was so hype when I heard it. I'm like, yo, I can just hit anybody with this. You can just literally, yeah, you can hit anybody with that. I can't wait to hear what the actual. <laughs> Were you gonna say the M word? The M word. Okay, yeah, you're gonna say the M word. Okay. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, let's let's not ruin my host. M my, as in Mary. That's Mar- what he was yeah, gonna say. That M yeah, word. Mary. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I didn't know if I was like dwarf gnome. Like they they both yeah. qualify. Yeah, they're uh, they're both pretty good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make uh, it a, you got to make it a fictional character. Yeah, yeah, it, that way everybody's happy. character that doesn't exist. You know, yeah. doesn't. Speaking about fictional characters, um, yeah. <laughs> yo, did you ever notice how like mm-hmm. Donkey and the Dragon totally had babies? Like, what is up with that in Shrek? I know this is such an out of pocket question, but like. W- like, what do you think the directors were smoking when they were like, <laughs> let's get the dragon and the donkey to get the Honestly, dog? it's the most, <laughs> it's probably the most, um, that was definitely the most interesting path. I think they just like had the relationship at the beginning of the first movie and they saw, they, it would, they thought it would be funny for that to happen. And then they just like didn't stop and they just took it to like the upteenth level. But like. I mean, yeah, but it's like, like the, the most the interesting path like they could have. Tales, like. Yeah, that is the most interesting path they could have taken, in terms of donkey and a dragon. It's pretty. It's pretty. Bro, I mean, and there's that one scene that seemed like she was she was giving him the schlap. Oh I, god! I don't know. If, oh, it was the first. It was the first Shrek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and like that's yeah. fully in the children's movie, bro. <laughs> that's like yeah. fully out there for the public, you know. And and people are arguing on Twitter about the government. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, y'all aren't arguing about the things that matter. I bro. see where your thought process is, I guess. <laughs> I see where you went with that. Yeah, that's very true. I'm just saying, it's just, it's, it's so. That's 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 how I view it. You know, that's that's. There are other things to talk about. There's, there's other <laughs> shit. Also, um, 
I don't even want to get into the Star Wars thing. I want to keep yeah. asking you questions. The Star Wars thing? What? Yeah, the it's f- it's. There's like I I'm not even a Star Wars fan. Are you a Star Wars fan? No, no, no. I mean I, I don't I, I don't care for it. I oh did you watch the Mandalorian? No, I watched the first like few episodes and I was incredibly bored. Yeah, it's it's um. Did I you watched like it? the first season. Okay. Uh, it's fair. And then completely fell off of it. Like I didn't get back into it, and it's crazy because I like I don't know if it was because they they went and because they revealed who it was at the end of the yeah, season. Yeah, it was Oscar and, Isaac. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I love him. Ever, ever I, since I, I saw I, him, I'm Vi- I love Oscar Isaac, dude. Bro, uh, the Viper in Game of Thrones. Yeah, when he was scenes from a marriage is one of my favorite shows too. What scenes from? Um, what's that? Scenes from a marriage is. Uh, with Jessica Chastain and Oscar Isaac, it's just a, 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 a six episode like mini series that was really fucking cool. Oh, damn, yeah. I love mini series. Like, you should definitely watch that one. It's pretty, pretty I definitely, freaking on dope. What, Netflix? I think it's on HBO Max. It's the only one I don't have. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Um, but uh, speaking of of uh, fantasy and shit like mm-hmm. that, uh, you recently went to um, San Francisco. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's I, I've never been, so okay. it's it's entirely a fantasy That's cool. to me. What what's that like? What was what did you what do you do over there? It's a fantasy land. Yeah, it's yeah. basically a fantasy land. I believe it. Um, no, it it was cool. We went to I went to a Warriors game, Golden State Warriors game, which was Whoa. freaking dope, dude. I've, that That's was a nuts. dream come true right there. You got Steph Curry sweat um, on you. Did what? Steph Curry sweat on you? <laughs> yeah, I got Steph Curry sweat on me. That's what's up. Yeah, um, I saw that. <laughs> Whatever he got sweat on. No, he actually got injured the first quarter. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was, like, tragic, actually. It was the worst. <laughs> they lost sucks. that game. But I saw them play the Celtics, which are pretty. they're a pretty good team. Like, they just beat the Nets. Um, so, that was cool. That was really cool. Their stadium is insane. It's massive. Hmm. Um, we went to... What we went to oh their their park their Golden Gate Park is what they call it oh wow it's bigger than Central Park and it if you look on a map it does not look like it is but hmm. it's massive and it actually is bigger than Central you think Park because the map is probably like bigger it just looks different that's wild just, I don't know what it is, is. It bigger than Central Park did they like measure it did they have proof of this? they I mean they made the park specifically to be bigger than Central oh, Park fuck those guys. <laughs> 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 fucking talk about a big yeah. shot contest no, dude. that's really annoying holy shit I, but it was it, honestly though it's a nice ass park I was pretty oh, impressed yeah. by it but but you know, you know um, Central Park isn't the biggest park in New York it's the biggest park in New York it's the um, the one in the Bronx there's a park that's bigger that's than bigger Central than Park. Central Park, hold on. In New York. Yeah, bro. Uh, Why I, did I not? I recently found that out. Uh, wow. It goes to show that my bubble is very small. I've no, I don't even go to the Bronx for anything. Yeah, it's uh, Bel- Pelham Bay Park. That's the biggest park? That's comp- okay, so Central Park isn't even first. Central Park is one, two, three, four, fifth on the biggest parks in New York. Okay, but there's four other parks that are bigger than Central. Well, one of them, yeah, Staten Island. I feel like Central Park is huge. Two first place is Pelham Bay, which is in the Bronx, mm-hmm. and Van Cortland, for Cortland Park, well, also in the Bronx. Two Bronx. But Central parks. Park is 843 acres, and Pelham Bay Park is 2,765. Literally, like three times the size of Central Park. That's a big ass park. That's a big ass park, and it's like. Yo, that's of, wild, right? Like, could you imagine the type of shit that's up? Like, and I've never been there. I've lived in New York for. Bro, like I mean, why would you go to the Bronx ever? But like, I'm I used kidding. to do night fighting in the Bronx, bro. I used to <laughs> really. Get in that's ar- crazy. Dress in armor, and it's called the AC Armored Combat League. I used to go to one twenty fifth, and bro. Like in the middle of the street or like at a building? It was like, it was in this basement, in some dude's basement in dojo that like, they did they did kendo there like yeah. normally, but mm-hmm. like these guys from like Staten Island came. Is that in. legal? Um, apparently, yeah, it, it <laughs> is. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. It Wait, looks, armored looks, fighting? What does that even mean? Like, like you, you put, put on, on armor, armor and then you and fight you f- people. With your fists? <laughs> fists, swords, axe, weapons. Oh my God. They're blunt, but... You can just rock them. You, it's insane. It's an insane sport. Um, sounds I did lit. that for like just a little bit. It sounds lit. I'm gonna do a documentary on that. Do you? No. Do <laughs> you want lit. to? My my friends are still. I have like two friends that are still very very much into it. Yeah. And they like. 
unfortunately, um, I mean, they're both kind of injured right now because of it. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. but they're, I'm, I'm sure they would so, so, so willingly be open to like yeah. doing some doing some shit with them that'd like be some kind i of would collab. that sounds so sick that sounds really it's, cool it's, it's so insane it's yeah. like you're just essentially putting like 80 pounds of metal on you mm-hmm. and then just it's like the wreck a room yeah. feeling you know you just destroy shit but instead you're destroying other people and yeah. then like it's getting hit too you're just like fuck yeah like hit me you know like yeah, fucking hit me bro like and then you get that hit and your blood like yeah. it's just insane insane feeling like just that's fighting in nuts. general is that's pretty nuts yeah bro fighting is great that's cool fighting um it's good i just want to see that happen i have a whole bunch of videos yeah you know, like, <laughs> i want to show sick. you but I like we'll, see we'll, 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 yeah we'll do it we'll after. see it after yeah that's um, fucking cool man <laughs> but uh back to san francisco yeah you went to in and out too right Two thousand part, yeah. Um, in and out yeah, is, in and out is is mid. You, you know what it is though. It's you had to have the animal style. Did you go uh, back and have the animal style? Bro, sauce can save anything. Sauce at any building can make anything ten times better, and sauce is all the same. They don't make their own sauce. Nah, bro. They mix a bunch of other sauces in to make another sauce, and that's a sauce. And I'm sure it's fucking dank. I'm sure (laughs) the sauce is sick. But if I just have a, if I go to your place and I have what's on your menu, yeah, not no secret menu bullshit, bro. I can save any amount of fries with the right, with the right fucking garlic aioli, dude. Like I, I can, I can save any any fries. The fries were were the biggest reason why it's mid is because the fries were dog shit. Yeah, the fries were like. Fucking free very, fries. Very, very disappointing. Very thin. Worse than McDonald's fries. Yeah. They don't even, they didn't even, uh, it was, it was, it was a letdown, but I thought the burger was pretty fucking good. Dude. The burger was good. Yeah. yeah it was solid. Was it was good. a very good burger. Like it was very solid. It's um, just the fries. Were I have no complaints. Letdown. The fries Did and the burger was good. I had a shake. The shake was just, it's just ice cream. It's a shake. Yeah. The, the, the <laughs> burger was good. Um, but I don't know why people compare it to Shake Shack. Shake Shack I mean, burgers are burgers, bro. Like, I don't, know. I don't like Shake Shack burgers. I feel why? like, yeah, they're. I, why? I don't know if it's because I, they. I feel like they tried. It's like a weird mix between like a like a smash burger mm-hmm. and like a normal burger, and then. Well, um, that's normal. They they just smashed a burger. Like, I know, they but get it, the beef you, in a ball and you smash it. Like I don't like I, I like I want my burger to line up with my bread. You know, I okay. want that shit to look like a crab patty. I don't want, I don't want my meat hanging out. All right, so you have side. some unrealistic expectations. Is so, what, oh, what oh, I'm oh, hearing oh, you say. Some unrealistic, yo, yeah, let me take unrealistic you to expectations. Yo, if you guys live in New York, please, please go hit up Park Plaza Diner in Brooklyn. It'll Park give you Plaza the Diner. best motherfucking burger you've ever had in Brooklyn. Like I, bacon cheeseburger. And it's about. I'm gonna try it's it. A real burger. I'm gonna bro. try it, but it's a real fucking. I, burger. I, I'm gonna press X for doubt. <laughs> Only because Press extra cap, I've been bro. to Bedford, the Bedford in Williamsburg. Yeah, I want to. I want that shit right now. The Bedford in Williamsburg, you hungry, bro. Uh, huh? You hungry? I'm starving. We should get some food. Ed. I'm down. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the Bedford in Williamsburg is a freaking mac and cheese burger. So it's a burger patty, and the the bread is fried mac and cheese. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, bro, you can't compare the two, bro. That's ridiculous. That's completely different meal. There is nothing. That's like saying pancakes and waffles, bro. They're not the there same, is though. nothing like that burger. <laughs> but I will say macaroni? that only because the patty is also thick as fuck and competes with the mac and cheese. Nah. The burger patty is that incredible. That sounds insane, bro. That sounds if I insane. took, if I got a regular burger from that place, I would be just as impressed with the, not just as impressed. I would be impressed with the burger. Mm-hmm. I know it, and just the fact that they do fried mac and cheese so well, and yeah. it, it's literally a patty. It's hands down the best meal, I've ever had in New York. Damn, we gotta go get that. I yeah, done I'm done. That's insane. There's nothing like it. Yeah, I've never even heard of anything like that. I, like when you said mac and cheese, I, I was I was so ready for you to be like, yeah, they put the mac and cheese on top and like scoop out the the bread in the middle, so it gets like a nice. Nope, home in they there. just nah, don't. They don't yeah. just put mac. Nope, it's different. The mac and cheese is the bun, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's man. revolutionary, man. Everybody People. has to go eat that right now if you're here in New York. Like everybody, just go eat it. Do you think that's like New York's like? For you like that's that's like you think back in new york and you're like this is new york's meal for me like, <laughs> yeah because like Hell people yeah. go like i know for a, i yeah. saw this thing on vice that was like in philly like this motherfucker mm-hmm. like 
he he like made a sub sandwich mm. from from a giant pizza slice. It was like a Philly pizza slice, and then he oh, put like a meatball parm mm. in the sandwich. Oh, meatball parm it's, is lit. As but like That's it was, nuts. It's it's insane. It's but apparently it's like Philly thing, right? the Philly thing. Yeah, it's like <laughs> the Philly thing to do. You know, so I'm like, like is there a New York yeah. thing to do? Like, is I feel there, like honestly, it's very American. Is a mac, a mac and cheeseburger is very American. So yeah, I would like to I would like to say that New York, I mean, besides pizza, because pizza is not even like American. So like that's why I'm saying it's like I was gonna say you know, pizza, but like it's not it's the not mac pizza, and cheeseburger is us, man. That's New York City. I swear to I, I'll swear by it every day of my life. I hope yeah. that place goes viral on TikTok or some shit, What's so that everybody place? agrees with me. It's called the Bedford. The Bedford. It's a really nice spot too. It's a hmm. nice ass bar. Um, nice little cute restaurant right next to Apple actually. Um, the the apple that I work at, um, Dang. fucking this fucking dope, dude. It's delicious. Um, also, <laughs> Philly cheesesteaks. <coughs> oh, I love Philly cheesesteaks. Do you think Philly has good Philly cheesesteaks? Like they're better than us, or better than most places? I mean, because like with with pizza, like I can say that New York has really great pizza, and they're not lying about it when they. 100%. I can say that Long Island has. Banging fucking bagels Like oh my God. New York has Incredible bagels So like I can say that for sure But I went to Philly And like The cheesesteak was just A cheesesteak Like I went to two The two famous ones Oh re- And both times It was wow. just like And you were like mm, Mid mm, It's just a cheesesteak Son of a bitch I don't well, know Maybe maybe Well I don't know well, To be honest the There's a Philly cheesesteak That there's a spot By my house That's like Makes. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I've had, in, I've had better Philly cheesesteaks here than when I went over there. But I, to be honest, I'm not like I want to know if I'm like an expert. I'm like, what's the actual? That's fair. I mean, I'm not an expert a, either, so I can't really say that. I'm but. assuming it's just like strips of stuff. But I'm also I'm assuming I'm assuming that experts buy into the system, right? So if they, if you ask about a Philly cheesesteak, they're gonna say Philly has the best ones because if you don't, it's like kind of like blasphemy, right? I mean, it's like, it's, yeah, but it's. I, I, <laughs> Cause like, gyros for example, like that's a that's a Greek dish, you know. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, I, I've been I've been to Greece and I've had Greek mm-hmm. gyros and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But there's still like some gyros that are here <laughs> in New York that are just like, you know, yeah. So like banging. It's, yeah, that's true. So I don't think it's. I don't know if a location can really. Yeah, I, like you can say like, oh yeah, Greece would have the best gyros, or Philly would have the best Philly cheese things. Also, but, like, to be fair, like New York also has. The most diverse, the best restaurants yeah. that I've ever been to. Like, and I haven't been many places, but even people who have been everywhere, like Christine, will will probably say that she's the best food she's ever had is always here in New York. Like, yeah. she's I mean, been a, in a lot of fucking places too. So, and there are places, of course, out there that yeah. were like they do things different, you know, and it just feels different. But New York just has it all. <laughs> it's got it all, you know. It's because everybody's coming from around to New York, you know, like yeah. fucking yeah. It's, it's world Yeah, travel. like everybody, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But you were you were just in Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, I was also in Puerto Rico, yeah, too. We did a lot of traveling. What was, what was the fun. food like over there? Good. It was just Puerto bro. Rican food. Yeah. Dude, that, we, it was so funny, bro, because I, we were eating a lot of Puerto Rican food, of course, because we are there. Um, and it was banging. It was all incredible food. Like, it was all like my mom made it, which is like how I, it was incredible. Hope for. Yeah. Um, but then, at a certain point, towards the end of the trip, we were kind of, like, tired of it. We were like, I want something, like, that's not Puerto Rican food. Like, <laughs> yeah. can we get some normal shit? So, is it, like, so anywhere we, you go over there? Is, it's it's Puerto same. Rican food. And anywhere. So, no KFC. So, no. no. So, I went, I, you know, thinking that, like, maybe we can go to, like, a chain restaurant and get, like, some American shit, some, like, regular shit. Or, like, a chain restaurant that has, like, different cultures or, or different foods. We went to a Chili's. Yeah, the Chili's in Puerto Rico. And the Chili's was all Puerto Rican food. <laughs> It was a Puerto Rican Chili's, bro. I had never seen. I had never, <laughs> never like empanadas and, and like. Bro, like I had never every, seen like, anything like. And all yo, the being at Chili's, bro. At a Chili's, I was like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. I can't escape. It was insane. 
I don't even know, remember what I got that night, but I know I got some mad normal shit. Like, I got appetizers and stuff that were like chicken wings or whatever. And you're just like, bro, bro just not rice and beans anymore. I couldn't, bro. yeah, I couldn't, dude. I couldn't do rice and beans again and fucking steak or, uh, bro. Yeah, just funny as yeah I almost lost my mind. But it was, that, the food was delicious. Like, everything about Puerto Rico is awesome. Honestly, I love Puerto Rico. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been to so, DR, actually. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, it's, it's a little over like an it. hour, by the way. That's fine. Yeah, um, I'm the host. I say it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the host. Um, but yeah, uh, Puerto Rico, San Francisco. You know, you've you've you're doing like mad traveling. I don't know if you remember that when we first like started hanging out mm -hmm. as friends. Mm -hmm. I still, I, I I think I still have <laughs> that little piece of napkin that you probably don't. I don't know if you do. Um, oh my god the uh the, the thing where you gotta hold game. us to it right yeah, where you said know. we gotta i think it's in my fucking other wallet dude bro oh fuck my god you okay yeah i'm good yo i maybe it's not in here is it not i remember that did oh we, did we like, put it on the wall it, it is have it? I, it's it's so here yo that's nuts man. so our our plan me when me and uh, Hector first met. Yeah. We did the "We're Not Really Strangers" game, which mm -hmm. is was that when we first met? Oh, not when we first met, but well, like, like it was right? yeah, yeah Our friendship very, very close to the beginning. Like we were we were playing it just before we got close. Right? Fucking no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and we had promised each other that we were gonna travel to a country together. Holy um, shit, that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> and but um, your plan B was acting a full length film. Oh, nice. That was your plan B because yeah. obviously our plan A didn't work out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have yet to travel somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. For, for plan B, acting a full length film. Yeah. What, when do you see that in the near future now? Uh, maybe not near. Um, you don't think so? It really depends. Not even like. Because in, a full length, a full length film is, is like. What, like an hour and a half? Crazy process, yeah. Full-length film is different. It's different than anything we've ever done before. And we're working on a short film right now. Um, and just the short film is, like, incredibly daunting. So if I, had to, if I was able to work on a full-length film, it would be someone else's project. Right. Um, it would be me auditioning for something and getting into it, which even, even that is like hard enough. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a very difficult process. It's possible for sure, but I would have to like dedicate myself to that for a little while. Um, and right now, my yeah, attention, music and yeah, my attention right now, like, is kind of centered around music and and uh, the podcast and um, and then you know just directing and then ideally I want to do streaming as well. So it's like. <laughs> I mean, you, I, have, you, I already have a lot that's going on. Um, but like, and I, I'm gonna do it all. But like, it's, yeah. it's just you still feel it there. Is that like your main thing? Like, you just want to be like, yo, I just want to act, bro. That's my in, big thing. In, yeah. In high school, you, you yeah, did, you were drama. You, you that's know. still my that's still my my number one passion. That's still like the top thing for me. It's the thing that led me into all of this that I'm doing now. And at the core of it all, it, I still work through the lens of an actor. Yeah. Um, in my music, in the streaming, and directing, because you know, uh, it 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 all, it all is through the lens of that. So, very much so, yeah. I think I'll always be that. I'll always be something that sticks around with me more so than anything else. Um. So, do you do you think just because you're you're focusing so hard right now in the music mm -hmm. and the uh, you know and twitching and stuff like that? Do you feel like your your um your fire or your your skill for that do you feel it fading at all or is it like yeah i mean, I, I mean you haven't done, yeah. when was the last time you haven't done it in a very long time right. um i think the last time probably when i was at the actor studio oh no 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 um with aboyos the skits um <laughs> we recently did one that we haven't released yet um damn yeah, we have. Really? Yeah, we. It's pretty much done. We did two. We were planning to film like seven or eight, <laughs> but we filmed two, I think, officially, and um, we just haven't gotten to like dropping, dropping them yet. But who's who's in it? Is this is the boys yeah, yeah. and Anthony. And Anthony. <laughs> yeah, because we we yeah I we, love yours on YouTube. 
just all of them are amazing and it's, I'm glad it. to see uh, you know, yeah, so if you guys that, haven't seen it check out El Boyo Supreme on YouTube <laughs> fucking yeah, dude, hilarious uh, fucking sketch we have bro. to get back on it we've been talking about it so fucking funny bro we've been talking about it yeah, I miss those days. I'm gonna watch thinking about the skits for all like dying of laughter, bro. I'm gonna watch those things today because it, it was just so it's such a fun experience. Those 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 things. So, but yeah, um, that was probably the last time, and I want to get back into it for sure. Especially with this new house, we're gonna have a lot more opportunities to do new things, and um, uh, it's a very cinematic house. I feel like so it's gonna be fun to work with it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be um, bro. The, this kitchen is nuts. I love it. Yeah, I, mean, I just love staring at it. Here, like. Oh yeah, that's some weird shit. Apparently somebody uh somebody uh died here, so that's why they didn't rent it out before. Say psych right now, bro. <laughs> Say psych right now, dude. I'm Say kidding, I'm kidding. Psych. Funny a fun fact that's true oh, is no. um <laughs> a fun fact that's true is that downstairs kind of downstairs it's like this downstairs is the uh it's a an eye doctor's office hmm. um and he's also the landlord wow yeah well shit interesting that's uh, you know what's so funny as i was standing outside i saw some lady like going into it mm -hmm. and i'm like thinking i'm like i wonder how this setup is you know because i was like All right. can't be to the right because there's an office here mm -hmm. you know and then you opened it up and that came into that little like bathroom area mm -hmm. vestibule and looks uh, like a bathroom yeah and you know now it's i to be honest i had no idea you guys got the whole top floor in in comparison to nobody cool. that, people that haven't been to um the castle this is in in huge this is huge compared to what what the castle is and i don't know if it will remain like that depending on whatever vanessa does or whatever her name is we'll see we have no idea what she's gonna do um but do you do you uh, have an idea of what you want to do here already? Like, do you guys know which? Because I'm assuming like a TV on that wall. Oh yeah, you know, like in paint. terms of the layout. Yeah, yeah we want to do a like, lot. Um, it's, it's so insane. We have a good amount of space. We we have decisions to make. So since everything's been pretty last minute, right? We haven't really been able to sit down in here all together, all three of us. I think I went to go see the place. I loved it. Took a video for them. They loved it. Um, and then from there, it was like, let's just try to get this place. Um, and hmm. Joe just saw it yesterday after we got it. And Franco hasn't seen the place yet. <laughs> what do you mean Franco hasn't seen the place yet? He hasn't been here. So like, like we, he's seen it through camera though, right? Yeah, through the camera. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bro, for a second, I was like, oh, you mean he has no idea where he's living? Like, he's... No, he's, yeah, no. Uh, he just hasn't seen it in person, which is like kind of odd. You usually want to see the place beforehand, but... Yeah. I've been kind of running it. I don't it, think and gives a fuck. <laughs> nah, I mean, he, he does care, but like not enough to like, I need to see it before we get it, you know? He trusts he trust me with uh, that stuff, so... No, it's been a, it's been a fun process, to be honest. Um, um, yeah, it's been fun. With with everything that's on the wall, because I know you you, you mm -hmm. told me you, you guys haven't really started packing yet. Oh yeah, we have a ton of art on the wall. Are you guys gonna like keep a lot of the art and mm -hmm. stuff? Most and of it's coming with us, up, right? Most of it's coming with us. Yeah, I think there's a few pieces that people want to um, take back because some of them were like given to us as like holding. Oh. Like kind of okay. like storage in a way. Okay. But pretty much everything else is coming back though. Yeah, we just gotta find places for them. Yeah. Yeah, because I was thinking like this is this is a good chance to like really like have a clean slate at like mm -hmm. essentially a, a brand new chalkboard. Yeah, design. You know? We we want to like go go forward with like genuinely designing the place. Yeah, and, like making things. You know, like, how long do you plan on staying here? Like, if you had a guesstimate, it, it really does depend on just the situation with the landlord, how they deal with like parties, and how they deal with Franco making music all the time, how they deal with like us, because we love the place. And as long as there's no issues with it, we're good to stay for as long as you, we need you to bring that up to the landlord. Uh, no, we haven't even talked to him yet. It's been completely through um, email, uh, through a through a broker, a broker in a way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so it, it's it's been interesting so far. We'll see. I don't know how he he seems cool, seems chill. Same seems like he doesn't really want to deal with it. Like he's just like somebody else. He'll pay somebody else to deal with it, and that's pretty much what his vibe is. It seems like so. Um, it's not so bad. Yeah, I mean, his doc, he's a doctor, so I'm sure he's just busy with that, and, like, everything else is just passive, like, income that he's just, like, hey, yeah. just make me money, basically, so. 
I'm sure he also doesn't live downstairs either. I'm sure it's just his office. No, yeah, right? I, I doubt it. Yeah, somewhere. he probably lives somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, so he's probably that's not bad. So technically, mm-hmm. you don't even really have neighbors to yeah. worry about. Yeah, really. You know? Well, we'll see. I don't know what the, I don't know what the fuck these things are. I mean, sh- oh, word. Yeah, what's up with that area? Like, you yeah, you could just walk out there. Climb out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about filming it out there, but it's cold outside, Ooh. so. <laughs> so I want to be able to take off my jacket. So. True. 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 Um, we'll get that. Absolutely. Uh, how do, do you know if you can smoke in here? Um, yeah. In the lease, it says like, it, on the lease at one point it says it, we can't, and then later in the lease it says we can. So that's a contradiction that we could just do whatever we want. Fair. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, definitely gonna smoke in here though. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, for sure. You gotta, yeah. You gotta, I mean, and, and even if you couldn't like that. I have that too many. Yeah, no, it's there's... good. I have too many friends that smoke. So like, of course, yeah. And Twins that, say. and if if it's like. You know, if it's ridiculous, then you just stand out there. That's beautiful. So, so yeah, it's um, cool. Real quick, since yeah. it is past an hour mm-hmm. now, um, do you do you have names for new music? Names. Names for songs. And names for songs. Interesting. Have you have you decided on any? Because that's no. like naming your children, you know. No. So uh, and they also give off you know some hints on, on what the song is about. So no, nothing yet. Um, no. I mean, I do, but there's gonna be a letter or something. I don't know, yeah. The lollipop to suck on. I mean, the the one of the tracks that I'm working on pretty feverishly, um, trying to finish it. It's gonna be definitely the best that I've made, um, and really, it's gonna be a really solid track um, that I I don't think people will expect. Um, I I'm pretty the title that it was the track was sent to me. Um, like the title that was on it um, was really, really interesting. Title. I don't know why he picked that. It's Brandon. Brandon made the check, but oh, it's nice. um. I'm probably just gonna keep it for the name of the title too. But it's called the uh, Moonbeams. 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 Moonbeams moon with a Z at the end. Moonbeams. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. I think he just came up with it like on the spot. It's usually how he title tracks. Um, but yeah, I think it's a cool. really interesting title. Yeah. So I was like, let me keep it, and it has nothing to do with the song, but. I can I can I can take a hint at what I might be able to do with the song. I don't think that the, <laughs> lyrically it doesn't have anything to do with the song, but I can I can think of like a melody that that, <laughs> that what is it? Moonbeams. What is it? What is it? I don't know, like a like a like a constant, yeah, you know, like a like a daft punk almost, <laughs> you know, type B. Where it's you know it's not too slow, but it's good to bob your head too. And you're just like, yeah, this is it, dude. This is this is the shit right here. I, I, I feel like that's what Moonbeam's kind of beat probably got nice. going on. I mean, but that's just it's my a pretty defense. solid. It's a pretty solid guess. I'm not gonna lie. You know? Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's, the name always names always got some hints, bro. I know Brandon was like listening true, to it and he's true. like, you know what does shit kind of sound like? Moon, Moonbeams, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like only Brandon, bro. Like where mm. where do you even like get that shit? Like what do you? <laughs> Brand, Brandon is uh, is a different animal. He's a beast, man. I love him so much. Makes tracks crazy. Um, I have no idea that he made tracks either. Yeah, he's nuts. That's he's a crazy like, good producer. I, I just he, knew he does a lot. He's also very he's also very multi multi talented as well. Like he's he could do a lot of things. So he's gonna he be the director. He's the director for the next short film that we're working on. So oh, really? He's an actor as well. Well, yeah, I, he's he's in um he's like the lead for Friends. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing, he's right? also yeah he's also the lead for that. Well, That's, he's the no he's the not the lead. He's but the uh, he's a the coach. protagonist, antagonist, antagonist. Yes, he's the uh, I don't even know if it actually ends with him being the antagonist. I don't know how it ends. Um, he's the he's the co-star basically. So, right. Yeah. Damn. So when when is uh do you know when Friends? Oh, I'm not. I yeah, I have no idea. I'm hands off now. I was just there to help with the shoot. I well, I didn't even like really do anything crazy for. It. I was just a, I was basically a PA for that one. Yeah, I was. Any really state for Ryan's? Yeah. Um. Well, you well, know, it's kind of up to him, loose, right? he, loosely. Yeah, loosely. Probably end of next month. We'll, we'll see. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Things might change. So, it's it's his music, so he can do whatever he wants with it. But my deadlines are towards the end of next month. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he recently just showed me the demos. He he came. We, yeah, the EP is gonna be sick. Oh my god, bro. EP's gonna be sick, man. It's like short, sweet, and like mm-hmm. just everything they could possibly like want. It's yeah. it's not bad. I'm very excited. So I, you have how many songs now coming towards coming out? That's on the way. That I'm 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 working on. Two I'm like working on. 
Hmm. I guess I would say I'm probably like genuinely working on only two songs. Why the why the only hesitation? two songs? Is there a third well, one? Well, not none of the hesitation. It's just that those are the songs that I'm focused on. Okay. But I have like there's like, you know, maybe like it's like five or six concepts that I have behind that. But the two songs I'm genuinely working on them, like trying to finish them. Damn. Yeah. That's insane. I'm super excited. So bro. thanks, bro. Appreciate I, it. I cannot wait. That's it's <laughs> thanks. It's um also the <laughs> The song that I, I'm assuming it's it's uh, based off Christine, um, the one that you performed the revival. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I would assume that that's general knowledge at this point. Yeah, uh, everybody kind of knows. You have any more? Uh, is it is it is it gonna be in that type of genre where it's it's like a, a love or? Uh, I mean, I always geared my my mind always gears towards um, love whenever it comes to art. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think so. Not for these, no. It, it, there's themes of it. There's like small themes within them of, of yeah, but uh, it, it, it's generally with what the content that I'm writing now, there's generally not one concept throughout the entire song. Um, the other ones were kind of like that, but for these, they're kind of a little more free-flowing and a little loose with the lyrics. So I'm just kind of writing things that I think sound good. So it's pretty much what the vibes are now. I mean, I... I, I I'll take your word for uh, <laughs> you know things that sound good. Your your opinions are usually pretty uh, on point that. with just cause. Um, I appreciate that. But there's also some opinions that I highly disagree with. Yeah, that's fair. Which is you know it's it's, it's but but being able to disagree with <laughs> you know someone and and continue to to push mm -hmm. on a on a relationship together and not let that hold back is something that I feel mm -hmm. like the world doesn't have enough of. Um. I just recently saw this this video of of uh, this old man mm -hmm. that uh, was stopped on the street in Brooklyn. Was like, you know, they were asking him like, "What do you, what, what advice do you have for the young generation?" And he's just like, "Just be kinder to, oh, to your I fellow like was, man, bro." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just mm -hmm. like, and the only time you're looking down at someone is if you're picking them up, you know. Yeah. It's and I'm just like, damn, bro. A lot of a lot of people don't don't have that mind state, and it's for sure. And it's hard to to say because like. A lot of people aren't in situations that that you know you're you're blessed enough to to have mm -hmm. what you do and, mm -hmm. and you know that you can have that mind state yeah and that's why like um that shit like like you were saying like the third world country shit and stuff like that like, like people very, in the third world country don't know what the fuck is yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very like, privileged like, it's, 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 it's very it's privileged insane, position insanely mm -hmm. insanely privileged yeah. you know to, mm -hmm. And it, it sucks because like the guy I saw it, um, was just like an old white dude, and I'm just like, bro, you don't mm -hmm. even know, bro. Like if 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 you know, like obviously help everybody, but you know people are gonna be out there that are gonna see you and gonna take advantage of you mm -hmm. because you want to help everybody, yeah. and you know, and obviously like they're they're I don't know if they're kind of those kind of people because of what happened to them, and in, in, in their life or or mm -hmm. whatnot, but. You know, just being able to to let stuff go, and, yeah, and enjoy the the true meaning of life, uh, for sure. Which is, um, I'm about to give everybody the meaning of life here. You ready? Everybody. I'm not ready. Are you, you do you know the meaning of life? Uh, I don't think so. The meaning of life hmm. is to enjoy the passage of time. Hmm. Without that, you're not living, bro. And I'm sorry. And I feel for you. And I want to help. <laughs> and this is why Project Feel is a thing. Yep. Because you got to be able to, to live. You know. And, Agreed. And, and I, I, I can't wait to continue doing these podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what who we're interviewing, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You're definitely gonna be. I hope you. You, you know, you gotta take all this stuff home, right? Because you you're taking well, all the podcast now. Yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, you have to like do everything. Yeah, I have a team that edits for me. I'm just gonna. All you, the can, you can take the day off, obviously. Yeah, I got you. I'm just gonna I, send them all your contacts. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat. You can take the, all this stuff home. Uh, do all the footage stuff and then also um i'm just gonna pass off scheduling too so there's like four artists that you gotta schedule for the, within the next like two months so 
Wait, wait, what? Does that also come with being a host? Yes, everything comes so with being the host. Much. I've been doing. What about Christine? Don't Christine? Do oh no, Christine is like, yeah, she's a big part. She picks, she picks all of the artists. Not pick. She she picks most of the artists, and she tells me to do things, and then I do them because she tells me to. But you're not. She's she's. she's not gonna tell me. Yeah, to she's not gonna be. She can't yeah. Tell me to, she can't tell me to shit. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just take this shit home, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for it. taking it off my uh, off my hands. You don't need this shit. This is a couple of hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah. No, how much is this shit actually though? This setup. Um, yeah. Like the. I, oh, I did the really? I did the math in the videos. The setup. How to how to how to do a podcast video for Patreon. Yeah. Um, shit, I think. Never mind. Don't. Yeah, because. I think it was around forty five hundred dollars. I think. Not including the computer though. The computers, I didn't put that in there. That's like a close. Close five K, dude. Yeah, pretty close. That's like that's a car. It's a lot of money. That's a car, yeah. Damn, a lot of fucking money. That's, thanks, Project Feel. Yeah, thanks, Project Feel. <laughs> that's that's insane. Wait, so because obviously I'm, you still gotta you know fill me in on on the whole uh, host thing. Do I uh, <laughs> do I get paid now? You never get paid. No. Uh, you heard it here first. <laughs> He's doing this do out of the kindness of his heart. Not yet, at least. You know, maybe in the future we'll start. You know, we'll we'll see what happens. For now, I, though, we're good. I think I, I think I think it'll be worth. It. I think uh, so too. Yeah, I think so too. 100%. I think it's worth it. Yeah, you'll like you'll you'll enjoy it. Um, well, this yeah. is th- that. Thanks, thanks for being on my on my podcast. This <laughs> is this is I feel you with uh, oh, nice. Nikola Georgievic. I'm glad you didn't change the name. And uh, no. What, what what was what was it gonna change it to? Really? I, know, I never know, bro. You... Um. All right. Well, I'm gonna change it right now. Actually, this is no longer "I feel you." Now this is um, we're feeling each other. That's the name you're going for. Okay. Uh, no, nah, wait. Okay. That one was bad. <laughs> we're feeling. I know. I really want to get the feel in there, bro. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cop a feel. Cop a feel. Cop a feel. Oh, cop a feel. my this God. Is... That's dangerous. You're never going to have a girl to come on the show ever. Cop. <laughs> Yo, you, imagine, <laughs> you, wanna come on, you wanna come on my show? It's, a, it's called it's Cop called a Feel. Cop. <laughs> hey, my name is. Pro- we're, we're, with a, we're with a company <laughs> called Project cop. Feel. We're with a company called Project Feel, and we just want to invite you to our show called Cop a Feel. <laughs> bro, I think it'd pop off, bro. Maybe it, it I think really I think it'd be great. Maybe that's so, the, maybe that's the, the the other show that we do that's a little more risque. <laughs> right. All right. So sorry, let me cop a feel real quick. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> 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 cop a feel real quick. And um, yeah, I'm running. Thanks, for, you, thanks for watching. And, and yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, appreciate, appreciate you. you. Appreciate <laughs> you. Thank you for for doing this. That was good. That was good. Jazz hands. <laughs>